recording. Okay, Cliff, if everybody would raise their hands for Cliff, we'll start with Jamie Say, Channel 6. Hey, Steve. Um, just wondering how practice went today, what, what some of the things you put the guys through and how they responded. Uh, first, before I answer that question, I, I want to talk real briefly about uh, the T-shirts that we wore um, that uh, people have liked. And, and um, you know, we are partnering uh, with FRRC, uh, Florida Rights Restoration Coalition. And the saying on the shirts, uh, get off the bench, get into the game, vote, was a slogan that uh, the executive director of FRRC uh, Desmond Mead, who I'm sure most of you or all of you know of, that was a slogan that he came up with uh, actually one night when we were just talking on the phone. So um, we are uh, enjoying our partnership with FRRC and it's part of our plan to help make a positive uh, change uh, in our community. And so we appreciate them and him. And I just wanted to make sure everybody knew where the slogan came from. In terms of practice, the thing we did different uh, from yesterday was we had more contact and we played a bunch of three on three, which is the way we're gonna build into five on five. I think the guys enjoyed it because uh, they wanna play and they know it's the best way for them to get into, you know, back into rhythm. Okay, Tim Reynolds, AP. Hey Cliff, good morning. Good morning. Cliff, how, I mean, I know the first couple of days there's that excitement of getting back and, and the guys being around each other and all that again. As we get into day three, day four, day five, what are some of the things that you're going to have to do to kind of keep, keep things fresh and not have, um, not, not have monotony set in? Well, I think, first of all, there's got to be a variety in practice, uh, doing different things. And... Um, uh, I think also making it as competitive as possible it's where, you know, what we're trying to do right now, which is what I'm sure most teams are doing. Uh, every shooting drill is competitive. Uh, every drill we try to do as competitive as we can. So anything that's not purely organiza organizational is to a score and there's a winner and a loser. And, you know, look, these guys are the best players in the world and they're here for a reason and their competitive spirit uh, one of those reasons, and we want to take advantage of that. Cliff, if, if, if this has already been announced, I apologize if I missed it, but when you talked about your relationship with the FRRC, you, you know there was qu quite a few people on social media express interest in, in obtaining those shirts. Do you know if they're going to make those available for sale? Yes, they are, and uh, I don't know when, but I know that, uh, I mean, they got a ton of calls within the organization and that's something that's being worked on. Cool. Thanks, Cliff. Josh Robbins, The Athletic. Yeah, hey, Steve, uh, would you please provide an update as to who, participate, who was able to participate today? And then can you please describe how cognizant you are of trying to avoid uh, injuries as you ramp up here? Yeah, same guys as yesterday. Everybody that's available practiced. Um, and uh, that's one of, I think this, that what you talked about there, Josh, is the biggest challenge is the pace with which we move forward. And, uh, you know, we have to help guys get into rhythm individually. We have to get organized as a group and we have to try to stay injury free. And it's unlike anything that I've ever been through before because this is much different than a, a normal training camp where you've had September, they played a ton of five on five, they worked out all summer. Uh, this is much different than that. And uh, you have to go at a pace with which we'll be ready to play because those eight games for us obviously are, are critical uh, in, two and a half, in two and a half weeks. Uh, but it's also you have to go to pace where um, you can be as careful as you can to, to help prevent injuries. And that's what we're trying to do. I'm relying a lot on, uh, you know, David Tenney. And um, I think we have a good plan. Uh, we did a lot more today. We'll do more tomorrow. And then, you know, we'll meet, evaluate, and see where we're at for the next day. Uh, Orlando Magic.com. 
Hey, Cliff. Uh, Terrence said that he thought maybe the group was in better shape than he thought they would be after such a long layoff. And, and you mentioned that, you know, a lot of guys were in Orlando doing conditioning work. Does that give you a boost that, you know, your guys have, have stayed in good shape? Yeah, I mean, I, I think for the amount of time that we've had away, I, I, I think that uh, I, I think the guys have done a good job. It's uh, it's just, uh, you know, to be honest, John, again, it's just so different. They're not, we're not nearly in the type of shape that would be, we'd be in for a normal training camp. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm happy with things, but, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to be a process. And you can't have a plan. Like in a normal training camp, I think most coaches, I always have the first five days mapped out. And they're in good enough shape and in good enough rhythm so you can pretty much stick to the plan. And this won't be like that at all. Uh-huh. Okay, thanks. Ryan Welch, WKMG. Go ahead, Ryan. Hey, Coach. We know obviously no one is immune from this virus, but there was a lot of talk about some of the older coaches being susceptible and whatnot. How safe do you feel? Are you satisfied with the level of testing that's taking place? Uh, I, I know our commissioner had said it'll be one of the safest places in the country, and it has to be. Um, there's been incredible amount of preparation and detail that's gone into this. Um, we get tested every uh, every day, and there's other guidelines in place. Uh, masks are mandatory. Um, we take uh, you know thermometer every time you walk into a room. Uh, it's it's incredible what they've done, the planning, and now the execution of the plan to make it uh, as safe a place as possible. So uh, I'd say, uh, you know, that we all feel very safe. Okay, we have time for two more. Eric Wilson. Hey, Coach, good morning. Um, I know you spoke previously about, you know, being more actively involved with the players when you guys were at the training facility. Has that continued now with you? Are you out there more doing rebounding and stuff with the players? And at my age, I can only rebound so many days, you know. Uh, so, um, I mean, not as, you know, more, this is more five on five uh, and team things, which obviously that's where I'm more involved in anyway. But uh, yeah, the rebounding stuff was fun for a couple of days. But when I was struggling to get out of the bed in the morning, we kind of, we broke away from that. All right. Any other questions for Cliff? Uh, time for one more. <laughs> Jamie Say, Channel 6. Hi, Steve, um, I heard that um, that Orange County has created a citizens task force, and I heard that you might be participating in that. Is that correct? And if so, um, what, what level of participation and what are your goals for it? Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, that task force is, uh, was organized by Representative Anton. And I am a member of that. Uh, it's been very educational for me so far. And uh, I'm missing, you know, now I know there was a press conference the other day that we were here so that, uh, you know, I couldn't be involved in. But it's, uh, I think as you guys know, the NBA coaches, uh, we have organized uh, and we're all involved in each of the 30 NBA cities. Um, you know, and help in hopes of making positive change in our communities. And uh, uh, we're doing things with voting, we're doing things with education, and we're doing things with uh, police accountability, which is what that task force uh, entails. And so um, I found it to be, uh, Representative Anton is, is uh, very organized, very prepared. Uh, it's a good, good group of people um, like I said, I've already learned a lot and, you know, our hope is, is to make, uh, make positive change to help with whatever we can uh, within our local community. So um, I'm going to be obviously these next few weeks. Uh, I won't be there. I did have a long talk with Representative Anton the other day. I'll continue to do that so I can be involved and um, it's something that's important to me. Thank you, Cliff. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Okay, we're going to stop the.